Have you ever wondered what exactly best education practices mean in today's educational landscape? It's a phrase that's tossed around so much, it's almost lost its meaning. But don't fret, we're here to clear up the confusion. You see, best education practices can be categorized into three levels, promising, validated, and exemplary. Each level represents a different stage of implementation and evidence supporting positive student outcomes. Now that we've defined these three levels of education practices, let's delve deeper into what each of these entail. In the realm of education, practice quality can be categorized as promising, validated or exemplary. Promising practices are those in their infancy. They are based on sound theoretical principles and are currently in the process of gathering data to evaluate their effectiveness. Then we have validated practices. These are promising practices that have evolved. They've undergone rigorous evaluation and have documented positive student outcomes in at least one educational setting. Finally, we reach the pinnacle, the exemplary practices. These are the validated practices that have proven their worth not just once, but multiple times in diverse educational settings. They're the gold standard, if you will. Understanding these categories helps us to differentiate between various education practices based on their effectiveness and reliability. Within the broad spectrum of best education practices, there are two distinct levels of complexity, education activities and education programs. Education activities are individual actions or policies that induce positive changes in students' attitudes or academic behaviors. For instance, mandatory student assessments that aid in proper advisement and class placements. On the other hand, education programs are more comprehensive, encompassing a carefully selected set of activities or policy decisions. A good example would be a thorough tutor training program, which includes active learning activities within the classroom. These programs are designed to address broader educational objectives. Recognizing the difference between activities and programs is essential for implementing best education practices in a meaningful way.